Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Ngayon po ay March 9, 2023, Webes. At mabuhay po kayong lahat. Welcome po sa The Stock Market Today. Ang ating balita ay tungkol po sa Metro Pacific at Aboytis Power. Special feature po natin yan. Ako po si Benji Chudoro, isang retired bank officer na nag-start mag-invest sa Philippine Stock Market ng 2007. Araw-araw ko pong binabalita ang pinaka-latest news tungkol sa inyong paborito at pinaaktibong stocks sa Philippine market. Kung gusto niyo po ng content, niimbitahan ko po kayo mag-subscribe kung meron po kayong stocks na gustong ipa-review. O may mga tanong tungkol sa stock market, i-comment nyo lang po sa comment box at aking pa-prioritize. Hindi po ako financial advisor. Ang mga sinasabi ko po dito ay hindi po financial advice. Huwag kayong alis dahil babahagi ko sa inyo ating financial headlines at ang resulta ng trading sa ating PSE ngayong araw, March 9, 2023, dito lamang po sa the stock market today. Ang ating balita or headlines ay galing po ng BDO Securities. Forex reserves slip 99.3 billion in February. Metro Pacific Core Profits up 15% in 2022. Ito pong ating main news. FB Post 34.7 billion record profit in 2022. FB is San Miguel Foods and Beverage. Banks NPL ratio inches up in January. Loan growth since lowing as rates rise. Non-performing loans pang ibig sabihin ng NPL. Alter Energy sets IPO price at 1.28 or 1 peso 28 centavos per share. So tingnan po na natin ito, no? Alter Energy Holdings Corp has set its initial public offering price at 128, a 14% discount to its proposed maximum price of 148, which will raise at most 1.6 billion from an offer size of 1.27 billion primary common shares. The offer period is slated to run from March 13 to 17, while the listing date is tentatively set on March 24. Net proceeds from the offer will be used to fund the development and construction of the Solana Solar and Lamot Hydro projects and to pay for the acquisition of the Kirahon Solar Energy Corp shares and three, fund the pre-development expenses of pipeline projects ito yung Ibulao Hydro, Tanay Wind, Alabat Wind, Calavite Offshore Wind and Tablas Offshore Wind projects. Alter Energy currently operates 67 megawatts of wind and solar assets and has a development pipeline of 1,245 megawatts of renewable energy projects in the next five years. So, kung gusto niyo po ng clean energy, alter energy po. So, let's take a look at MPI. MPI posted a 46% quarter on quarter and a 17% year on year decline in the fourth quarter 22 core earnings to 3.4 billion due to booked losses from closures of logistics and business and entry into agriculture ventures. Nonetheless, the full year 22 core earnings reached 14.2 billion, up 15% year on year, on the back of higher contribution from power and toll roads, which accounted for 65% and 30% respectively of MPI's operating income. Toll road profits rose 46% to 5.6 billion in full year 22 as revenues jumped 31% to 22.9 billion due to a combination of record high traffic growth and toll increases in the Philippines and Indonesia. Water profit contributions lead 3.6% at the Manila to 2.7 billion in 2022 with higher operating costs and taxes offsetting revenue growth in Manila. So the results are in line with our forecast. Pero tignan po natin ito, no? Itong special news niya. Metro Pacific maintained buy on defensive portfolio, increasing toll and water tariff support 
EPS growth, earnings per share po yung EPS. The 2022 core profit is up 15% in line with expectations. Total profits jump to record high traffic growth. So kung nag, uh, magamit po kayo ng Skyway at yung North Expressway, kay Metro Pacific po yun. Nag Nagta-traffic na po dyan, ano? Especially po dun sa Skyway at peak hours. Toll road profits rose 46%. And... 2022 revenues jumped 31% due to a combination of record high traffic growth and toll increases in the Philippines and Indonesia. Broken down Philippine traffic grew 19% to 577,000 okay, vehicles, no? while international traffic is up 30% to 343,000. Water profits down but tariff high improves outlook. So, 3.6% lang po si Maynilad. But, build volumes grew 1% to 527 million cubic meters on flat residential demand. So, there is also a diversification here. Aggressive entry into agriculture. Management sees ample opportunities in its agribusiness. Una po yung Carmen's Best. Pangalawa, yung Greenhouse Complex. Ito naman po yung vegetables. Yung Carmen's Best po ay dairy products po ito. So, the target price is 560 reduced from 6 pesos. So, sa 419, there's an implied upside still of 33.7%. Still a good investment si Metro Pacific. Nagda-diversify na po siya from regulated uh, businesses to lesser regulated businesses such as agriculture. Next, we have Aboitis Power. Growth story intact, spot prices likely to remain elevated in 2023. Full year core income up 25.8% ahead of expectations. Generation revenues driven by higher spot rates and contracted revenues. Tighter power grid outlook continues and the target price was increased to 47 from 45 pesos with a closing price of 38 pesos yesterday. There is an implied upside of 23.7%. So that's about this power. Now let's take a look at your comments. Sir, pa review ng SEC B, LTG Home, ASEN, SCC, AP, and MBT. Salamat po. Okay, Daniello Daguna will do that. And then si Roy Melendres, thanks for the review, sir. Always watch your video. Salamat po. Then si Raquel Robrigado, praying for your, for ma'am. Mary. Ay, salamat po. Maraming po salamat sa inyong mga panalangin dyan dahil Mary has been sick for about a year already. And we've been praying hard for her recovery. Salamat po, Raquel. So let's now take a look at the index. Actually, it's still early. It's 11.11 11 in the morning. And let's take a look on how it's doing. The PSEI is down. 25.13 points, nasa 66, 86.36. And probably because of this, ito, no, stocks tread water after shock over Powell rate warning. So magtataas daw po ng interest rates higher than the usual si Federal Reserve. Ano? Ito po si Jerome Powell, chairman ng Federal Reserve. And that is what's holding back the index. And apektado po ang index pagka tumataas po yung interest rates, bumababa po yung ating stock market. Yung market activity, dito naman tayo sa market status rather, most active is BDO, nasa 128.50 na po, followed by ICT, nasa 215. Then SCC at 29.30 down 2% and Metro Bank down 1%. 0.05% and you'll notice yung A-REIT is on the plus side ano? nasa 35.90 na po si A-REIT up 2.57% but SEC is down 
2.01%. Okay, we'll be back later as the market closes, so don't go away. Okay, the PSE index declined 102.22 points, nasa 6609.27. So lahat po ng gains niya in the, in the week ay nabawi po niya ngayon. So 1.52% down. And sideways to bearish po ang ating index. This is brought about po by this, ano? Ito pong Fed na nagsasabi na itataas na naman po niya yung interest rates higher than the usual at yung ating BSP din ay nagsasabi na kailangan ma-control yung inflation. So that's adding the bearish sentiment on the, on the Philippine stock market. Ngayon po, yung ating market activity, 105 companies declined, 52 uh, remained unchanged, while 72 gained oh, or advanced. Yung all share index natin, bumaba din ng 1.02%. Lahat po ng sectoral indices ay down. Ito po ay pinangunahan po ng properties at 2.86%. So, ang pinaka po, at the time when interest rates are going up or threatens to go up our properties. Pero ang nakikinabang po ng malaki dyan, pagka tumataas po ang interest rates, nakikinabang po dyan ay ang mga, mga banko. Tingnan niyo po, 0.49% lang po yung kanyang baba. No? Not so much. But in the long run, kikita po sila dyan dahil sa high interest rates. But at the same time, ang counterbalancing po niyan, ay yung NPL ratio po niyan, hindi dapat tumaas yung kanyang non-performing loans. No, kasi ang tendency po niyan, pagka tumaas ang rates, tumataas po yung non-performing loans. Yung hindi po nakakabayad ng kanyang utang. Okay, so before we proceed, ay tingnan po natin, may additional question po dito, or comment. Si Erwin Flores, good day po. Ano pong ibig sabihin or anong ibig ipahiwatig ng DMCI na neutral? Also, kapag overbought, ano po ba ang dapat na move? Long term po ako. Okay, yung unang tanong mo is DMCI neutral. Ang ibig sabihin po ng neutral, neither buy nor sell. So, kung titignan nyo po yung some definitions of neutral, dito po from Dave Manuel, no? hindi ko siya kilala, pero maganda po yung kanyang definition dito. What is the definition of a neutral rating? Sabi niya, neutral doesn't mean sell and neutral doesn't mean buy. Instead, when a brokerage issues a neutral rating, this means that they expect the stock to perform in line with the expected returns of the market. So, ang sinasabi lang po niya, neutral is that kung tumaas yung PSE index, tataas din po siya. Kung kumita po yung mga stock sa PSE index, ay ganun din po yung kanyang kita. Ganun po yung ibig niyang sabihin. Ngayon po, dito naman, kay market beat, what is a neutral rating? A neutral rating is a stock analyst rating that is neither extremely negative or extremely positive. When an analyst rates a stock as neutral, they do so with the expectation that the stock is going to trade in a tight range. For investors, this means that the analyst is a stock as having a low growth rate. Yeah. So for the first bullet dito, if an analyst reiterates a neutral rating, yan po yung nangyari kay DMCI, na reiterate siya, it is usually an indication that the stock's price is likely to remain closely linked to a market index or other benchmark. So, ibig sabihin po nun, sumusunod lang po siya doon sa index. Or, kung tumaas yung index, tataas din po siya. Kung mumuha yung index, bababa din po siya. Kung meron dividendo na binigay yung mga index stocks, ganun din ang dividendo ibibigay niya. More or less, ganun po ang ibig sabihin. Neither buy nor sell. So, yan pong neutral rating kay DMCI. Yung second part is also kapag overbought, ano po ang dapat na move? Long term po ako. I suggest na uh, kasi this is a, uh, overbought is a technical term on 
the relative strength index. Doon po sa aking description below sa number 13, tignan niyo po yung relative strength index kasi doon po yung nakukuha yung overbought and oversold. Pagka overbought po, over 70 po yung RSI. Kung oversold po, 30 and below po yung RSI. Ang overbought po, ang ibig kong sabihin yan in simple terms, ay the stock is masyadong marami ng bumibili and since overvalued technically yung stock ay magre-reverse po yan eventually. Yun po yung ibig sabihin ng overbought. So anytime soon ay bababa po yung kanyang presyo. Pero that doesn't happen all the time. Okay? So tignan nyo lang po kasi this is on technical analysis hindi po ito fundamentals. Ngayon kung long term ka bihawakan mo lang. Walang problema. Especially if the stock is a good stock, an index stock. DMCI is a good stock. Hawakan mo lang siya. Investment. Ang time horizon mo niyan is 3 years or more. Long term ka. Yun po. Okay, Erwin Flores. So, tingnan niyo po yung aking description below. Yung number 13. Relative Strength Index. Hindi po ito fundamentals. No? Technicals po ito. Or technical analysis. Okay, salamat po. So, let's now go to the stocks that we'll be reviewing at ito po request ni Danielo Daguna. So, SECB, LTG, HOME, ASEN, SCC, AP, and MBT. So, 7 po ang kanyang request at ating titignan siya ngayon. Ano? So, let's start with SECB. Si SECB, iyan, umaakyat po si SECB. I think this is a 52-week, ah, hindi pa, no? 112 yung 52-week high niya. But it's getting there. So, umaakyat po siya, and from January 3 up to this point, ay paakyat po ang kanyang channel. So, let's take a look at that, ano? Yung parallel channel po niya follows the blue or 50-day EMA. Yan po. So, support is at 96.01 Resistance at 103.22. SEC B is an index stock. So, kung titignan po natin yung PSE. And I guess, i-check lang po natin if SEC B. Hindi ko kasi memorize ang mga index sa stock. Eh. Ah, hindi siya kasama sa index si SEC B. Pero, it's one of the more active stocks right now, no? So, tingnan natin. Balik tayo dito. So, paakyat po siya. Nasa 101 na po siya. And it touched the overbought level here, no? Noong February 28, nasa 70.57. Pero patuloy po ang kanyang akyat. So, sabi nga natin, trend is your friend, no? Pero, ingat lang po tayo. Kailangan po meron po tayong stop loss sa ating... If we trade the, the stock, then we have to have a stop loss level and the stop loss level should be your support uh, so kung kung na-reach na po yung support or a bit higher than the support no, pwede nyo gawing support or uh, stop loss level is the EMA20 nasa 97.38 ngayon so pagka na-reach na po yung inyong target price mag-sell na po kayo or na-reach po yung stop loss ay eh, mag-sell na rin po kayo to cut your losses Next, we have LTG. Ito ay nagbibigay din ng magandang stock here. So, tingnan natin, LTG is an index stock. Check lang natin. Yes, index stock po siya. It's part of the 30 company index. So, let's get back here. Yan. So, meron po siya dalawang dividendo dito. Isang 15 centavos. Isang another 15 centavos or 30 centavos po ang kanyang dividend to be given on March 17. Yan. So, pakiat din po ang LTG and right now, the EMA50 is acting as support. Ito po siya. Gawa tayo ng horizontal ray. Yan po. Nasa 9 
99 or 10 pesos po ang pinaka-support niya. But, the resistance is here, nasa 10.45. So, malapit na po niyang ma-reach yung resistance level. But take note, nag-overbought na po siya dito. Yung RSI po niya, nag-overbought ng January 16, not ng January 26, but it keeps on going up. No? So, if you have already reached your target price, ibenta niyo na ito. But if you're long term, then hold on to it. Kasi LTG is a good stock also. Basta nasa index po magandang stock po yan. Okay. Home. Si Home. Naku. Sideways to bearish po. Ang nakikita ko po dito kay Home. Nag-overbought na po siya ng February 2 and February 13. So right now, sideways to bearish po. Actually, in general, it's sideways. Moving. Support is here at 141 and then the resistance nandito po yan po sa 319 nasa 249 na po siya pero right now nasa 249 na po and okay the next higher resistance nakikita ko dito sa somewhere here nasa 230 po ang pinaka support rather pinaka support ng home and it's moving sideways you RSI po niya nasa 42.71 slightly below the midpoint so bearish to sideways po ang kanyang movement ni home next we have ASEN si ASEN bearish din si ASEN so green and golfing siya dito yan so, right now, I may earnings report na wala pa siyang earnings report eh. Pero the lower support nandito sa 561, the next higher support level, nearing support level na po ito or support area na po siya, 628. Yung po si ASEN. And it's bearish rather. So, fundamentally, si ASEN, tingnan natin, AC Energy may buy rating po siya with a target price of 880 or a 35% upside based on yesterday's prices. So after ASEN, SCC. Si SCC, naku, bearish din si SCC. So support level na po siya, 2850. So it's moving downwards uh, under DMC po ito. Eh. But SCC is index ba ito? Oh, nasa index siya, 28.50. Pero ang DMC wala. Ah, nandun din. Nandun din siya. DMC and SCC are both index stocks. So, balik tayo. SCC is bearish and it is already in support. Nasa support na po. Nasa 29.20 20 po ang support eh. So, bumaba na po siya ng below that support level. Or nasa 28, 28 to 29 po ang support niya. And pagka na-bridge po niyan ay next support level nandito po sa 26 na yun. Nasa 27, 27, 20 po yung next support level ni Semirara based on historical data. So it's moving downwards uh, since January. Temporarily went up between November and January, no? Tapos bumaba na naman po. Probably because of cold prices, bumaba po yung cold prices. And then, avoid this power. Si AP, may kita po si AP, eh. Ayan po, no? Growth story intact. Tinaasan po niya yung target price niya. Upside po niya is 23.7 based dito sa fundamentals. But in, based on the technicals, it's bullish on the long term but sideways on the short term. So, meron po siyang dividend, the 187. Uy, dalawang 187. So, tingin ko more than 10% to. So, computing nga natin, 187 times 2. So, 374 divided by 38. That's 9.84 dividend yield. Hmm, ganda Ganda siya. So, si ASEN po has a support here. Nasa 36. 
16 and the resistance is here at 39.40 so yan po si ASEN and in general it is bullish to sideways um, movement yeah. finally we have Metrobank it's MBT okay moving sideways din po siya on the short term pero bullish po siya on the long and medium term so if we will be drawing a parallel channel mukhang nabibridge po yung kanyang parallel channel ito eh. kasi yung blue line po acts as the support eh. yan po si MBT yan po siya and the support nasa 58.90 to 59 no? and 63.44 po yung kanyang resistance base po dito sa parallel channel yung kanyang RSI po nasa 51.18 but let's check the fundamentals Metro Bank, based on BDO set, may buy rating po siya. Target price is 77 and about a 25% upside if you will buy the stock based dito sa fundamentals. But the technicals is that support and resistance, 58.90 po ang support, 63.44 po ang kanyang resistance based base po dito sa parallel channel. And it is just neutral i mean the rsi is between or in the midpoint nasa 5118 yan po ang ating report sa stock market ikasyam ng marso ito po si benji chudor ang papaalala ang investment in knowledge pays the best interest maraming salamat sa inyong pagsubaybay hanggang sa muli stay safe god bless and bye for now